In this video, I'm going to prove the Cardi's theorem using proof or code. So here, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on proofs. I'm just going to tell you how to use prefers code. So let's assume I have one graph. Actually, one is finding three. And I want to show you one bijection between uh, this tree and one string of length n minus two over n alphabet. So, you know, uh, when I have the length is uh, n minus two and I have n alphabet, it, it is like for each of these places I have n uh, choices. So n times n times n, it will be n to the power of n minus two. So the preferred code will give us some strings in this shape. And I'm going to tell you how we find that a string with that shape. Uh, with that properties from a tree. So here is the example that you can also see in the document. Okay, what we do is that first of all, we find the minimum label leaf. So here, I see the leaves are, uh, sorry, one of them is six. Uh, I have three, eight, six, two, seven. So two is the minimum one, minimum label. So I see that, but I do not save that. What I save is it's the label of its neighbor. So I save five. After that, I remove that node with its label but because i'm going i want to construct that again and i want you to have that picture i do this so when i have a red thing it means that it is already removed so the next minimum leaf like i have seven six eight three it is three i remove that and i uh, save the label of its neighbor next i have eight six seven so six is the next the neighbor of six is again one and after that we see i have this between eight and seven seven is the smallest i actually you see that you never have that leaf as the maximum label we have because always there is something else there is some other leaf which has for sure the uh, smaller one is smaller label so here seven seven is connected to four so i do this after that you see um, actually after that four becomes a leaf and since four becomes a leaf, it means that I no longer will use that because it is a leaf. It, it cannot be uh, a neighbor of another leaf. So the next one, between four and eight, four is minimum. Its neighbor is five. And after that, uh, between five and... Eight, five is minimum, so I keep one. And I do not continue with the rest. So you see, for eight nodes, I have the length of six here. Okay, so what I want to do to show that it is a bijection is that I'm going to construct the tree from this sequence and we see the constructed graph in three is the same as this one. Uh, so we already see that the sequence is of length n minus two. And in each of these places, it is possible that we have any of these n uh, labels. Okay, so I, I want to construct the tree from this. 
I see I have six numbers here, so I realize that there are eight notes. Since there are eight notes, uh, C5 cannot be a leaf, right? Because it is a neighbor of a leaf. The same for one, the same for four. Actually, the ones that we have here are not leaves. They are all internal nodes. Uh, and the leaves are the ones that uh, never appear here. So the leaf set is two, three, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have these leaves and uh, what happens is that I know among the leaves I'm going to pick the one with minimum label. So for sure I pick that two and that two must be connected to five because I have that five as the neighbor of that leaf. So because I want to have something like in the other picture, I will have this. Okay, one next is that I go to three and I know that three is a uh, neighbor of one. And then again, I still have one here. I have six here, so six is neighbor of one again. And then I have seven, which is connected to four. It has a neighbor of four. Okay, see, after that, so we're good so far. But here, it's like what I see is that four never appears in the rest. So it means that four becomes a leaf. For five and one, whenever I use them, I still have them. But now four is not here anymore. Since I already have these ones, I add four in this sequence. And I know four is a leaf now. And four is the next leaf that I need to remove. So four must be connected to five because in the fifth place I have five. So I connect these. Next. The next leaf is, okay, see, again, I'm done with five and I don't see five anymore. So it means that after removing that four, five becomes a leaf. So it means that I need to add five in this sequence, but because I have that sequence increasingly, I need to add five before eight because it is a smaller. So five must be connected to one. And finally, I know that one is not a leaf anymore. I mean, it's not an internal node anymore. So I will have one and eight. And between one and eight, uh, I know that one and eight must be uh, neighbors again. So I connect this one as well. So you see that these two are the same. I don't go through proofs, just showing the algorithm finding the preferred co code from the tree and finding the uh, tree from prefers code. Thank you.